A company you're going to be seeing fairly often in this series is called ProKenex, and we're going to be going over the origin story in this episode. Welcome to Retro Rackets Rediscovered, the YouTube series where we find old tennis rackets at thrift stores, revisit the history of them, and test them out on the court. ProKenex still exists today as a company. They make tennis rackets, badminton rackets, and pickleball paddles. But their origins go back to the late 60s, when Taiwanese entrepreneur Kunin Lo built a factory so they could manufacture badminton rackets. As manufacturing started moving east, Lo Kunin began to manufacture tennis equipment and other sporting equipment for other name brands like Prince, Spalding, and Adidas to name a few. If you see Made in Taiwan on a tennis racket from the early 80s, there is a good chance it was made in a Lo Kunin factory. Eventually in the late 70s, Lo Kunin decided to start manufacturing equipment under their own brand, which was called Pro Kenex. Their earliest racket offerings were a series of mid-sized graphite tennis rackets, the most famous being the Black Ace. The Black Ace, which was an 86 square inch tennis racket. With an 86 square inch head and thin beam, this graphite tennis racket was a huge revolution in a game that had been primarily using wood and steel frame tennis rackets. The Black Ace was also the first graphite frame tennis racket to win a Grand Slam when Brian Teacher defeated Kim Warwick in the 1980 Australian Open. The Black Ace was also famously used by Heinrich Sundström when he defeated John McEnroe in the 1984 Davis Cup. The Pro Kenex A series had rackets named based on their composition of graphite to fiberglass and frame. Starting at the top, there was the Boron Ace, which was essentially graphite inlaid with some boron, boron being very stiff. Then we had Black Ace, which is 100% graphite in the frame, followed by Silver Ace, which is composed 80% graphite and 20% fiberglass. The addition of more fiberglass adds to more flexibility within the frame itself. Uh, next down the list, at 60% graphite and 40% fiberglass, we have the Bronze Ace. And last on the list, and the most flexible of all the Ace series, we have the Copper Ace with 60% fiberglass and 40% graphite. And I should mention with the Copper Ace, there's not a tennis racket today that will feel anything like how this one feels. Now, I don't own a Black Ace, but I've seen one for sale at my local Played Against Sports, and for some reason they wanted $100 for this racket. They must have uh, gotten confused with the modern offering of the Black Ace from Pro Kenex. Regardless, I have three Aces here that I will be hitting with. So now that you know the history of Pro Kenex, in the next few videos, we're going to be going over the specs of these rackets and doing some playtesting with them. So be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in those videos.